Shark finning began in the 14th century during the Ming Dynasty after shark fin soup emerged as a delicacy. It was reserved for important and powerful people. The soup has retained its reputation to this day. One bowl can cost up to $200. Sharks are caught with long chain lines and hoisted up onto fishing boats where their fins are hacked off and they are dumped back into the water. There, they are unable to swim and they are left to suffocate, bleed to death, or are eaten alive. As a result of shark fishing, ecosystems lack apex or top predators in the food chain. Sharks prey on fewer predators and their numbers skyrocket, wreaking havoc on the populations of producers. This phenomenon is a trophic cascade and its effects have environmental, economic, and political consequences. Over the past 20 years, China's middle class has exploded, creating a large demand for shark fin soup. Teenagers and young men become shark fishermen out of economic necessity and a lack of options. Organized crime like the Taiwanese Mafia controls fishing waters in Costa Rica, and many consumers in China do not know how sharks are treated and fished. Countries have begun to outlaw both possession of shark fins and fin importation, but China, the source of demand, has not passed any importation laws. In China, organizations like Wild Aid are trying to raise awareness about shark finning to reduce the demand for shark fin soup. With sharks breeding protected through shark sanctuaries, hopefully they can survive. Research any of the following organizations and see what you can do to help stop shark finning. Created using Powtoon.